I was scared to death. I mean, that's from going from zero to what 38k for the 360 was um, it. It was a huge investment. Hey everybody, it's Brandon Dawson. Welcome back to another episode of the B. Dawson Show, where we feature business owners, entrepreneurs that want to go from 1 million to 10 million, 10 million to 100 million, or 100 million to a billion. Today, I've got a buddy of mine here. Michael, introduce yourself and tell everybody what you do. My name is Michael Callahan. I'm the CEO of Michael Callahan and Associates. We provide uh, outsourced CFO services, including accounting, bookkeeping, and payroll as well as tax planning uh, and preparation. All right, so you're you're an accounting, tax planning, training, you do all sorts of things there. Yeah, yeah. So when you started working with us, how long ago has it been we started working together? Uh, I, did the, I did the 360 in May. In May. Of this year. And how did you find Grant Cardone? I don't, Facebook, probably three or four years ago. Um, I don't even know why or how. Uh, I dabble in real estate, and so that's probably how I came across them. And, one, and once you clicked on something, you can't get rid of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I experienced that when I watched his first video, too. <laughs> Somehow, he just kept finding Yeah, it, everywhere. Every, uh, every website I was going to, he, he was at the bottom. <laughs> and now you are. <laughs> that's the magic. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm learning from the best, right? <laughs> and that's what we're trying to teach you, right? right? You do the same thing. So, so you came through our 10X 360 two-day consultative program. What did you learn from that? I think the biggest, or a couple, a couple big things. Uh, mindset is the biggest thing. Just um, learning how to manage myself. Um, and then the other big thing is, um, is the core values and, and the overall uh, – the overall, what's the word I'm looking for? When you find it, you just, just the overall operations of your business is, um, our core values. Core yeah. Values. So, so, so when you went through that two days experience, you, cause we f make you force rank what you do well, what you don't do well. And we say at the beginning of that event, there's what, you know, there's what, you know, you don't know. And then there's the 98%. You don't even know you should know it until you encounter it. And then you're like, oh, oh, right? Yeah. So we called out a lot of the 98% of the stuff that you never even thought about relative to your business. Yeah. And then you were like, okay, I'm going to go home and I'm going to apply these things. I always tell business owners, as you know, that you're going to see somewhere between 25 and 35% uptick coming out of the 10X 360. And it always pays for itself. We've run a thousand businesses through there. What happened with your own experience coming out of the 360? Uh, probably the biggest uh, aha moment for me was the the 250k uh, revenue per employee. Uh, we were well below that, um, and realizing some of the reasons why we were below that, uh, and the some of the people that were contributing to us being below that. Um, so we actually let go two of two people after that. Um, our revenue has increased by 50%. Um, our, our, our net, because now we're more focused, the whole team's aligned and focused on 250 to 350 of revenue per employee. We are, we're, our, our net is double from last year. So not only have we paid for the 360, but we've paid for the platforming as well within, what, six months now? Yeah, isn't that crazy when you think about how much capacity is actually sitting in your business? Yeah, and it, and it and everyone like I I was I was concerned that everyone would like freak out because now we've got we we're two less people we have the same amount of clients and we're getting clients all the time like they they just naturally stepped up and were able to to become more efficient and and handle all handle even more workload with less people. So when you came into the three hundred and sixty, because I remember you were like, "Hey, we're overworked." We've got we got to get new clients, but everybody's stretched thin. And then you come out of the tail end of the three six, and you're wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm working harder, not smarter. 
and and you were able to take the elements, the three to five things that said, here's how you go home and start working smarter, and here's the key performance indicators you didn't even know to think about right. to know if you're moving towards or away from success. So fast forward now. I want to make sure we get this right. Your business has grown how much in the last eight months? Revenue's up 50% year over year. Wow. Yeah. And profitability is double. Double. So we... Last year we netted 250. We're on pace to do over 500. And that's after you paid for all of our services. Yeah. So yes. so that's, really. Yeah, it's even. even you've higher. invested uh, in all the programs you've gone into. My guess is you've invested somewhere between a quarter of a million and 300 grand. And so when you think about the fact that your profitability has doubled even after you've expensed all those programs, and grown your revenues by 50 percent. Um, and those are the, 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 that's what we like to see, right? Because we always tell people, and you were there, like money does never come between us and working with clients. We always find the money. And you're a proof, you're an accountant. <laughs> if anybody's worried about money and not making more money, improving it and tracking it, it's you. Right. What would you say to people that are listening to this saying, can that really happen in business? Like, what's your own personal experience? Well, to be honest, prior to this, I hadn't, I hadn't, and made hardly any investment in, um, in in this type of training or education, and so I was scared to death. I mean, that's from going from zero to what thirty eight k for the three sixty was um, it, I, it was a huge investment, and I was scared to death. And having gone through that, and and face that fear that I think that's part of the mindset shift that happened at that event. That is not, it's not just imp impacting my business. It, it, it's impacted my personal life with my family and my employees, personal life and their families. It's just, it's, it's incredible. And you just have to, you'd have to face your fear and do it. And, and so, and the reason it's impacted everyone is because you learn the technical aspect of aligning first goal setting with the way we teach it with all your team members, including your doing it at home, and then aligning the business objectives to those goals so that your employees feel like, hey, we have control to drive the business, and we win when the business wins, and the business wins when we win, which is why your revenue per employee has gone up so dramatically as people actually want more responsibility if they know they're going to win with it. Yeah, 100%. Um, and even in, like, in the accounting industry, typically – uh, there is a it is a challenge to find accounts that will sell, and part of the part of the, one of the things you just you talked about at the 360 is that uh, 10 percent of, of sales is not going to have a, a dramatic impact on on your bottom line, and so we we instilled a a 10 percent uh, commission on sales, and now everybody in the company is selling everything. So it's it's, and I didn't think they. I didn't, I didn't really challenge them prior to that or even, well, I did. I asked them to do it, but nobody really did it until I incentivized it. And now everyone's selling and everyone's comfortable with it. And everyone realizes that by them being okay to sell, they're actually helping a lot more clients and, and saving our clients more money, which is what, that's what we're here for. Well, and what's interesting is, is just so the listeners understand the technical aspect of what you said, um, Commission, you know, paying commissions to people in in of itself isn't usually what's going to inspire them. But when you can take a percentage that you would otherwise pay in commissions that you weren't paying, right? Because a lot of professional businesses don't think of it that way, and you reallocate those dollars to incentivizing personal, professional, financial goals, so that it's the goals that the money's funding, but it's the goals that people are excited about. It's not the money, getting right. the cash and just having the cash. It's a way to budget, allowing your team to set goals, hit those goals, and be rewarded from the success of the business. It could be a trip somewhere. It could be paying off a debt, like an education or a college debt. It might be you funding somebody going to a class to increase their professional skill set. But if you're having those conversations and you're able then to set the budget in the company and then show people, hey, I'm willing to make the investment in you if you make the investment in the business. And you did that. And in the success you've had so fast, how long had your business been sitting there doing the same amount of revenue? Probably four years we'd go up and we'd come down a little bit and we'd go up and come down a little bit. And that's what you talked about at the 360 as well. It's just 
yeah, you might go down a little bit, but you should be going like this. And that's what we're starting over the do. long term. Yeah, that's right. And and when you think about this, how much better does this allow you to be in your business, being able to articulate and talk about this to the business owners you serve that you're doing their financials and some of those people are struggling and you're like, you've got your own personal story to share with them now. It, it's amazing. And um, it's uh, it, it's really helped me uh, to have a, a clearer picture, especially when it comes to our CFO services, which are more forward thinking. Um, we're able to take a lot of the concepts and, and the things that we've learned and help business owners grow and, and improve their businesses. Which then you're more valuable right. to them because you're not only a, a living example. Firsthand, you can explain, hey, I learned these things. I did them in my business. Here's what's happened. Let's build them into some of your annual planning and stuff. And all of a sudden, people are like, wow, this is – they don't even know where it's coming from. Right. They just know that – I mean, it's what we talk about. You align your people, they'll go take care of the business. If they're not aligned, they're not gonna they're not gonna put any energy into it. Right. That's right. So you and I, so 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 everyone's that's listening to this show on the B Dawson show, my buddy Michael. Uh, if you're an accountant, or if you have CFO services, and uh, or if you're doing bookkeeping. Uh, if you're a firm, a professional firm, or a financial advisory firm, or if you're a family office, we're coming to you. <laughs> we devised a new strategy the other night where we're going to be partnering with firms to bring our business services. We're going to use your business as the first example of this. And, uh, and our goal is to go out and get thousands of financial firms that work with business owners and help them help those business owners create more resource financially. And uh, and so we hatched this whole plan on this over dinner the other night. What, what, have you thought more about that? Oh, 100%. It's, uh, I think it's a huge opportunity. Um, there are there's so many firms out there uh, that can apply the same principles that I did. Uh, and, and some things that we've strategically done um, just as a, an, a, as a specific accounting firm that can be applied to other firms, uh, there's no reason we can't blow things up. You and I made a decision. I already called our 10X buy sell guys. They're here. And I, and I said, hey, uh, when you get here, I want you to talk to Michael. We're going to go out and find a thousand small accounting firms that want to either be acquired or they want to partner with someone who can help them blow their firms up and and make more money, provide better services and higher quality of impact to the clients they serve. And when we sit and have those bigger conversations, how exciting is that versus just thinking about a year ago as a small business owner trying to figure out how to grow to the next level? It's incredible. And the, 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 for me, I think one of the greatest things about it is just the number of businesses that we're gonna be able to impact. Um, from, from the CFO services to uh, really my favorite, the tax planning, um, saving, saving business owners thousands of dollars in taxes is huge. And, I, and I, I, I'm super excited about the impact that that's going to have on, on the small business community. And I think your, your particular business, CFO services and tax planning, um, is going to explode because of all these. Now there's a lot of confusion with all the new tax rules. <laughs> And, and, you know, they're going to go out and hire lots of IRS agents who are going to try to comb through everybody's numbers to try to get revenue. It's like having a sales team that has the legal right to go in and look in everybody's bank account to try to figure out how to take money from them. I mean, it really is going to be an interesting scenario here. And if people don't have firms like yours and they're just doing it on napkins, um, they may have liability or risk. So when you think about all the new tax changes and, and, and basically putting hunters on the payroll to go after people's financials, uh, what, what do you think is the smart thing for anybody that's got any reasonable amount of income to do? <laughs> well, I, I always talk about tax. So there's tax preparation, which is the, the compliance, filing the tax return. Uh, to, to a business owner, there's no value there. Um, I always talk about when we're doing tax planning, you know, if you make this investment, it's going to return 3x what you invest just in year one. And you can apply these same concepts year after year after year. So if you really think about it, it's like 20, 30x uh, their return on their investment for, 
for this creative tax planning that they're not getting from, I would say, 80% of the firms out there. Yeah. So, so for business owners, um, you know, we manage and work with thousands and thousands of business owners and, and they always, when they find out there's certain things they could have been doing that they didn't think about, or they didn't know about, or certain things they shouldn't be doing because they didn't know they shouldn't do it that way. Um, when, when, when you look at both the ability to expand your net worth because you're handling things appropriately, doing them the right way, you're within compliance, but you're taking advantage of the tax code versus the horrible advice that's out there by a lot of what I call, you know, small town professionals. They, they know how to do just enough to be dangerous, but they don't really understand the complexity of, of things. And this is true for lawyers and accountants and business advisors and all these things. What would you say to the person, the average person listening to this, if they're like, wow, I've never had a professional firm actually sit down with me and put strategy behind it? From your experience, what would you say to those people? I think one of the biggest things when I ask, um, when I ask business owners, you know, how is their CPA good or is, is there, are they proactive? 90% of them will say, yeah, he's great. He's doing, but when I start asking bigger questions, like what was the last tax uh, plan you implemented? They're like, they don't even understand what a tax plan is. Um, they don't understand that it, it, it's not to, just to prepare the returns. That's not tax planning. That's compliance. It has to be done. It's a necessary evil. Um, and and for, for other accountants that are listening, they probably, you probably realize that a lot of the bookkeeping, the payroll, the tax preparation is becoming more and more automated. So that for those businesses that that's what their core business is, those businesses are, 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 are dying because all that's getting automated. And so if you're not adding value, value added services like CFO services, forward thinking services, tax planning, you're going to be in trouble in a few years. Yep. And this is this is why our, we've taken the position. Hey, if you don't know how to do that, and you have a nice business right now, doing a million dollars, three million, ten million. In fact, I have somebody that's coming on next. He's got a four million dollar business that does that. And they're like, how do we how do we grow it and preserve what we have? If you're one of those people right now, and you're in the professional financial services type space, right, and you're doing any kind of tax or planning or payroll or business, or uh, how would you describe a CPA firm? Uh, and you're sitting there going, Hey, how do I not only preserve what I've spent my life building, but how do I blow this thing up and who can help me do it? Uh, respond, put your comments into this, into this. You could be watching it on YouTube. You might be seeing this on Instagram. You might be listening to it on iTunes. Uh, but one thing's for certain, there's going to be plenty of ways to get a hold of us and find out how we can help you be part of this movement that we're creating. And you're hearing exactly from Michael what's happened with his own firm. And we have actually dozens of accounting firms that we work with. And that number is going to go to hundreds by this time next year because of things like this, explaining to everybody how we can help them. And because now that we understand how to help them, we're able to proactively go out to people that are in that kind of business and say, let's let us help you blow it up. And so I'm really excited to work with you for your business, but also work together in providing this for other businesses like yours. Absolutely. Super excited. Yeah. I've been a, a good me leader. Um, didn't even know what that concept, me leader versus we leader, even was before going to the 360. Um, but uh, not having been struggling to, to make others success easy which is another thing i learned at the at the 360 was not something that i knew i needed to know um i just thought hey let me i did it this is what i need you to do you go do it um that that's uh what do you call that abdicating yeah in, instead of leading um and so i i realized that i had a, had that shortcoming um and um knew that you know, and in hearing your conversations and hearing how, uh, and, and seeing how remarkable your team is, I needed to have that same leadership. So, so I have this program for those listening. It's called the Leadership um, Business Mastery Program. Actually, it's called. So I have this program for those listening. It's called the Business Mastery Leadership Program (BMLP). And, and I have hundreds of entrepreneurs in it now, and you're, you're in that circle of those people. And they're all very serious about their professional and financial success by building a, gr a remarkable team. 
What have you learned specifically out of that program that's been able to change how you're engaging and interacting with people? Um, just, just how to, how to, how to be a leader. How to, um, how to make others' success easy. Uh, how to get people to see things. To you know, I see and, and I know that they have. Uh, the capabilities and the and the and the and the power to to do great things. It's just getting them to re- to uh, increase their belief lid, and getting them to to go to a different level that I know that they're capable of. It's just getting them to do it, getting them to think yep. about it. And and how noticeable has it been to your team that you've been very focused on your own leadership abilities? I, I think it's very evident. Um, I, I think uh, it, it's it's. I'm more concise in, in, in the delivery of what I'm, uh, of what we're working on. Um, and they're able to, uh, kind of take that, what they're seeing me do and apply the, and apply the same thing. So being that example to people. Yeah. hundred percent. And has that helped you in the personal interaction with your team members? Uh, across the board. It's helped, it, it's helping me with my team. It's helped me with my wife. It's helped me with my boys. Uh, it, it, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a total package. It's, it's helped everywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we certainly appreciate having you be part of that group. Uh, it is a phenomenal group of entrepreneurial individuals who are all inspired to change. And I think that's, that's the one thing that if you're listening to the B. Dawson show right now, which you are, or if you're watching it, you have to understand that to change the outer aspects of your life, you have to change first the inner aspects of how you think and then what you do. Um, otherwise nothing around you can change. And that was a, that's a hard pill for some people to swallow, especially when they're finding resistance in their life. Right. Um, for you, you had some resistance and you had some challenges and you're like, I don't want to deal with that anymore. I want to figure out how to fix it. And so it takes a lot of courage to do that. So for me to you, you know, I just want to tell you how much I respect that and appreciate it and you trusting us and working with us. Good. Well, Hey, listen, Mike, thanks for joining me on the show. Uh, and, and for those of you listening to another episode of the B Dawson show, just remember our expertise, my business partner, Grant Cardone and myself, what we do is help businesses go from 1 million to 10 million, from 10 million to a hundred million, from a hundred million to a billion. So the only question you have to ask yourself is which of those numbers are you inspired to get to? And then get a hold of us, talk to us, let us help you do it and ring that bell. So thank you for joining me on another episode of the B. Dawson Show.